What's up buddy? So today we're looking at Gran Turismo and which settings looks the best for this game in Duck Station. So let's start with the default settings here and uh, yeah maybe it doesn't look the best here but uh, yeah at the start here I'm gonna remain pretty still here. But the default settings is native resolution so internal resolution is 1x, dithering is turned off or it's set to true colors. And uh, for the scaling, it's uh, bilinear smooth scaling there. And uh, yeah, it's uh, somewhat uh, faithful to how it looks on original hardware there. Doesn't exactly look amazing, but uh, well, yeah, I guess it works all right. So first of all, let's uh, change the scaling there from bilinear smooth to nearest neighbor. And uh, yeah, we get a lot of sharper pixels here. Still, I can't say it looks amazing there, but uh, well, that also works all right. And first of all, let's start to, to increase the internal resolution here to 4K. And there we go. Yeah, that's a lot more crisper. And uh, yeah, all the 3D ge geometry kind of boils more or less. Yeah, it's not very stable here. It jumps around all over the place in this game. So it's uh, and uh, increasing the internal resolution here makes that very noticeable. Uh, but Duck Station does support geometry correction there, which uh, should uh, help for stuff like that. So let's turn that on. Bam. And uh, yeah, that made uh, wonders actually. Look at that. It looks uh, way better. So yeah, that's the settings that uh, we're definitely gonna go with here. And uh, yeah, for 4K here, it definitely looks a lot better with this. Anyway, let's try some other settings here. The other thing would be uh, downsampling here. So that would be if we turn that on. There we go. And yeah, we definitely get a bit of a different look there. So the internal resolution is still 4K, but that is then downsampled down to the native resolution. So uh, yeah, you get this pixelated look, but it looks a lot smoother. And uh, yeah, I would say it doesn't look... It definitely looks better than the native resolution. Let's also change the nearest neighbor scaling to bilinear smooth. There we go. And uh, yeah, I would say that works a bit better here. Might be a bit too blurry on the other hand. And you get some shimmering here in the kind of checker pattern here, but uh, that's kind of what we get there for that uh, low resolution here. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, that uh, definitely works all right. Uh, there could be another uh, a little in between here where we still have a little bit blurry, uh, but uh, it is not as blurry as this. And that would be if we let's see we turn off downsampling here and change the internal resolution to 2x. There we go. So that is uh, still a little bit blurry given that we have the scaling to bilinear smooth but it's not as blurry as the native resolution. And if we still want some detail in all the 3D objects we could turn on uh, let's see multi-sampling. We have that under the in advanced settings here. And the one I think works the best is this 8x SSAA. There we go. And uh, yeah, in this one, you still have it a little bit blurry, but things still looks pretty good here. So I would say this works pretty well here. Uh, yeah, definitely. We can also, if we want to, go with nearest neighbor. We want it a little bit uh, pixelated here, which also works pretty well here. Uh, but yeah, this is the setting I probably would uh, say is my favorite at least. Uh, and when it is a little bit blurry here uh, compared to the 4K, uh, this uh, everything kind of blends in a bit better here. So I would say this uh, looks pretty good. Uh, another thing would be with the dithering here. It's uh, turned off here. And let's uh, have a go at uh, turning that one on. There we go. And uh, yeah, 
that's definitely not for everybody, but I would say I kind of like it in this one. Same thing here, here with uh, making it a little bit blurry is that uh, things kind of blends in a bit better. And I think the dither pattern works uh, or at least helps a little bit with that. Uh, there is also another way we can go with uh, scaled dithering here, which just makes the, the pattern smaller. I usually don't prefer that, but uh, well, it is uh, not as obvious there. But I would say uh, either have it on or uh, with the, with unscaled dithering or have it uh, turned off here. And uh, well, when we turn it off, it's definitely a little bit crisper or cleaner here. But yeah, that's still pretty nice. And uh, well, let's go for a go here. And I must say also, this game has aged pretty well here in terms of graphics. Uh, it looks pretty nice, uh, at least given the PlayStation 1 hardware and with the modern uh, emulators. Yeah, definitely make things uh, look, look a lot better. Here we go, let's go. But yeah, I would say uh, 2x uh, native resolution with the bilinear smooth scaling. And also the multi sampling turned on there to 8x. I would say that's my favorite and it looks pretty nice. Anyway, what's your favorite setting there? And I guess this will be it for this video. You all stay awesome and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.